Hey, welcome to this uh, VHF UHF radio channel and uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about squelch. Squelch is not always well understood and it's a problem because it's extremely important um, in a scanner or a VHF UHF communications receiver. The reason why we have squelch is multiple. First of all, in a channel where there are lots of communications, what's nice about squelch is that by put, positioning the squelch at a certain level, it prevents the static from being heard and lets the signals that you want to hear go through. So that's cool because if it wouldn't be there, then we would have this static, would have this static all the time in between conversations. That's kind of annoying. So squelch is there for that, first of all. Second of all, squelch is there because the receiver will not scan unless it doesn't see a signal. And the only way for the radio to see there's no signal is by putting the squelch at a certain level. By putting the squelch at this certain level, you'll be able to, uh, you know, let the receiver know when there's nothing, and it's going to um, actually know when there's a signal. So when you scan, um, an example here that I'll show, I'll show it here with my R20. If I put my squelch open, which I just did, and I want to scan, it doesn't. It doesn't because the squelch is on, so it thinks there's a signal. So by putting the squelch to the lowest setting, when I scan, then it starts scanning because now it can make a difference between when there's a signal or not, thanks to the squelch. The squelch setting is very important. Um, here in this radio, when I press the squelch button and I want to turn it off or on, it has different levels. It's here you see level one to level uh, nine, and of course we've got open. Open means there's no squelch at all. In a regular, more uh, regular scanner that you have every day, you have usually the squelch button that is on top of the radio and it's basically a little tuning um, or kind of a variable resistor that you uh, turn. Technically you want to set the squelch to the lowest setting that you can put it at where the um, static stops. So for example, I want to set the squelch here, I'll just start turning it and as soon as the static stops, I'm going to stop turning the squelch button. The reason why you can't put the squelch too high is the higher you put the squelch, the stronger the signal needs to be in order to actually be heard on the radio. So if you put your squelch level very high, you won't hear a lot of signals. By putting it just at the threshold, in that little line between where there's static and there's no static, you know that in general, if you're scanning for signals, uh, even the weak signals will uh, be able to be heard uh, through the squelch. And that's very important because when you scan with a, com with a scan, uh, with a scanner or radio scanner, you no, just want to make sure that you don't miss out on any signals. So by setting it at a very low setting, you know that even if the signal is not very strong, you're still going to hear everything that's happening. And of course, on some um, scanners, sometimes with signals that are very strong, you might want to set the squelch a little higher to prevent, uh, for example, some interference. Uh, maybe you have a local noise and your noise level is a little higher then by putting the squelch a little higher you will prevent the noise from actually 
uh, being heard through the radio and any signal that's higher than the noise floor around you will be heard on the radio. So uh, squelch is very important. Um, in general you want to set it at the lowest setting possible. Not really much more than that. So hopefully you uh, give you an idea on how the squelch works and why you have it on the radio. Um, a lot of people that actually buy their first scanner radio or their first communication receiver don't fully understand the use of the squelch and of course why would you like to turn off the squelch if you're dealing with extremely weak signals then you might want to take it off because some very weak signal just barely above the noise floor might not be strong enough to actually be heard if you put the squelch on so um, that's pretty much what the squelch is hopefully uh, it helped you understand how to set it up and you know when you're not used to the radios it does take a little bit of adjustment you need to play with it a little bit and then at some point you uh, kind of find where it should actually be on the uh, on the scale so hope you enjoyed the video and uh, hey if you are a big scanner VHF UHF listener communications receiver anything above 30 megahertz why not subscribe and you'll be uh, informed when new videos are online I'll try to post more I've uh, had a lot of work lately and been uh, um, having a little difficulty uh, posting videos on some of my channels like uh, VHF UHF so um, of course when I have time for videos I'll often put videos on my channels that are more popular before I put them on the less popular channels uh, this one being fairly new it's still not very popular so thanks for watching 73